As anglers, we often focus a lot on lures and feel that the lure is what's going to make or break our day. Well, we need to be thinking about the where. And I know that sounds easy, but that's usually the big problem when we go fishing, right, is the where. And I will split it apart into two categories, depth, and then geographic location. As far as geographic location, I'm talking about in the back of creeks, up on the main lake points, somewhere in between. So we need to split it down that way. So let's start with depth first. I just actually did a video on pressure a few weeks ago, and it talks about in low pressure systems, I'm going to be fishing up in the water column. High pressure, I'm gonna be down low in the water column. So that's a general starting point. As a matter of fact, out here right now, just a couple couple days ago we had some severe cold fronts come through and you almost couldn't even find a small bass super shallow. The shallows were non-existent with, with life and the fish that we were catching were in that 20 to 25 foot range. Well now when I brought the boat out this morning, just a few days later, we've had some stable temperature for about three days and that's always the key for me is three days of stability and within minutes, I'm seeing bass all over the place in the shallow. So I'm very interested when I'm done filming here to kind of go out and, and see what that bite is like. So that is how I kind of break down depth. Now, as far as the geographic location, I like to take a portion of a body of water, okay? So if it's a big reservoir, choose one creek arm. If it's a small farm pond, you're in good shape. Uh, this lake here is about 180 acres, so I'll pick one particular area out of it. And then I'm gonna start to search that area. I'm gonna try to ignore all the other parts of the lake for the moment, search that one area to see if I can find out, you know, what they're using, you know, verify the depth that they're at. And then when I have some information, let's say I, you know, caught several fish or had a couple bites and, you know, 15 foot of water on an outside weed line, now I've got something that I can transfer to other parts of the lake. But we really, really need to focus on that where first and choose our lures to find that information for us, to decipher that information. A couple other things I always look for is one, I want some deeper water access all the time. So if I'm fishing a flat, I'm gonna pick the point of the flat or the edge of the flat that drops off into some deeper water. It doesn't have to be deep. Maybe it's only a change of a foot or so, but that's what I want. You know, some 45 degree banks, something where those bass can go ahead and get deeper and feel more comfortable and move up and down easily without covering lots of ground horizontally. At least that's something that helps me figure out what's going on. And hey, if speaking of finding bass, if you wanna watch a video that I think is such a powerful presentation to locate fish, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.